This video goes over the directions and questions for part two of the first quiz in the Myths, Legends, and Folktales unit. Before you begin, please make sure that you put your name and your homeroom on the top of your paper. Notice that this quiz is worth a total of 28 points on top of the points already awarded to you in part one of the quiz. The directions say, Complete the following activities and answer the following questions after reading the story of Perseus, a famous hero of ancient Greece. So before we do anything, we need to read the story of Perseus. There is a link uh, with these questions in Blackboard, and that link will take you to this news ELA article about Perseus. Before you begin, please choose the appropriate Lexile level um, based on my conversation with you about your latest NWEA score. So once you've chosen the correct Lexile level, you will need to read this story in its entirety. Just reading part of it will not be good enough. You need to read the entire thing. If you want to, uh, you can take this quiz and count it as one of your power reading activities. That would be just fine. Once you've read this story, <clears throat> you are going to answer four short questions and write two paragraphs. The four short questions are, name one character from the tale with magical powers, name one character who is very good, name one character who is very bad or evil, and name a good character who triumph, triumphs over an evil character. The next question says, in at least one five to seven sentence paragraph, make sure you're paying attention to that, explain how the story of Perseus is a folk tale. So the topic of your paragraph needs to be how the story of Perseus is a folk tale. And I give you a hint to use the questions above to explain how it fits the characteristics of most folktales. When you read The People Could Fly, we talked about the characteristics of folktales, and those characteristics of folktales just happen to be the same as the characteristics gone over in these four questions. So they will help you answer that first question. The second paragraph that you need to write says, and at least one five to seven sentence paragraph, explain how the theme, if you have courage, you will succeed, fits the story of Perseus. Make sure to give specific examples from the story of Perseus's courage and his success. So the topic of this paragraph will need to be how this theme, if you have courage, you will succeed, fits the story of Perseus. In your paragraph, be sure to have examples of that courage and examples of that success. 